Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. I've said it before and I'll say it again and I will continue to say it. Having clean, potable water is probably the most important prep that you can have. Now a lot of people would think, well you just store a bunch of water. Yeah, in an ideal world all of us would have thousands of gallons of water stored away. Now water in and of itself doesn't go bad. It's the contaminants that are in the water the biological, the chemical, the heavy metals, and the particulate matter. Those are the things that we need to work with and get out of the water to make it potable. And probably the most important one of these is the biological, the little creepy crawlies that might be in your water that in a good situation will still make you very sick and in a grid down situation can kill you. So ideally it would be great if we all had thousands of gallons of water stored away, but that's just simply not practical. Because if you live in, let's say, a 1,200 square foot apartment, it's hard to put away 10,000 gallons of water. So the vast majority of us are going to be relegated to the simple task that we're going to have to find water and treat it. We either get it from a river or a lake, or we collect rainwater and treat our water after we source it. And the biologicals are probably one of the most common things that we're going to have to concern ourselves with. Now, bleach does a pretty good job of disinfecting water, and a lot of people will think, well, this is a pretty sturdy container. I can just buy a bunch of bleach, store it away, and when I need it, add it to my water that I need to disinfect. A lot of people don't know this, but bleach deteriorates over time. In fact, after two or three years, this gallon of bleach is going to be nothing more than a gallon of water that smells like bleach. Yes, it deteriorates that quickly. So the efficacy just goes downhill right from the day you buy it. And over the long term, this is not a long term viable storage option. The next step a lot of preppers will go to is pool shock. And this is a viable option, but it has its problems as well. First off, it's very caustic. It outgasses chlorine gas, which is highly corrosive. So it's hard to find a container that it won't eat when you store it away. It also is flammable. So there is a fire hazard in storing pool shock. But there is something that I have found that can be used for long-term storage and still be able to disinfect your water in a grid down situation. And that is the MSR SE200 Community Chlorine Making Kit. One caveat about this, and I want to warn you about this right now. If you're intrigued by this and you want to get one, get one right now because these are discontinued. MSR and Cascade Designs, their parent company, is no longer manufacturing them. They don't even have the parts to fix them. I talked to them about that. So if you want one, get one. There may be a store still having one available. Amazon, there might be a vendor that still has one. You might find them pop up on eBay once in a while. And you might check other online sources and local sources. So if you're interested in getting a kit that will purify your water over the long term, this is the solution. Now it's very, very simple to use. It comes in this little case. Now this is not going to be a how-to to use this thing or a review, just an overview to let you know what is in here and to get you interested to think, to get you to the point where you may want to buy one of these. Now while this kit does come with printed instructions in like five or six languages, there are visual instructions both here on the inner liner of the case as well as on the pieces themselves. So even a person who is unable to read will be able to use this device. It comes with a plastic case with a liner around it, but you can just toss that aside. The case is rather compact for what it does. It comes with the instructions printed on the lid as well as printed instructions. It comes with a power cord and the unit itself that does the electrolysis. It comes with a salt brine bottle that you make your brine solution and it comes with a bottle that you store your finished chlorine solution. It also comes with some test strips and a measuring cup. And to use it, it is very, very simple. It comes with a salt package, but I myself went and got some rock salt at Walmart. And I think it was like five and a half dollars for 40 pounds of it. You simply put rock salt in. To this line down here at the bottom. Fill it to this upper line up here with water 
and then shake it to dissolve the salt. Now, since I use rock salt, it takes a lot more effort to dissolve than this granulated salt. So it's gonna take a while for me to do this. So let's get started. A few moments later. Okay, it looks like we are all diluted. So let's go ahead and get started on making the chlorine solution. What you will need is a 12 volt battery source, which is very, very common. I'm going to use my DIY power well and plug this right into it. And then what you do is you can see this little, see this band right here at the bottom of the clear. All you do is you put in your brine solution to the top of that mark, that shaded area, and press the button, and it will start to fizz. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is already chlorine gas coming out of this. It's a little wisp of smoke, and you do get a very strong odor of chlorine as you use this. Now, if you're hooking this up to a car battery, you would use this adapter. It simply plugs into this cord. It just so happens that this cord matches the input charger input of my DIY power well. You let this go until it's done. It takes about four to five minutes to do. When this is done making chlorine and converting this salt brine to chlorine, it will flash and beep, and then you can simply store it in this bottle, and it's a dark bottle, so it's not going to be subject to light, and it will last, they, they, the manufacturer suggests you use it within 24 hours. The chlorine solution that it's making right now will treat 20 liters, or about five gallons worth of water. If you convert this much salt brine to chlorine, and there it beeps, and we're, right, and we're done. This bottle right here, if you treat all of this brine and convert it into chlorine, it will treat easily a 55 gallon drum of water. And I've done the math that the salt that I put in here and converted it, that 40 pounds of salt will treat over 200,000 gallons of water. So even if I use 10 gallons of treated water a day, I have enough salt on hand to treat over 200,000 gallons of water. And that is just plain old salt, people. Salt. You can store that forever. Vermin won't eat it. Bugs won't lay their eggs in it. You can store salt forever. Just put it in a bucket and keep it dry. So anyway, that's my overview of the MSR SE200 Community Chlorine Maker. Again, if you're wanting to get one of these, get one right now because they're discontinued and they're not making anymore. I don't know if Cascade Designs is going to replace it with something or they're going to bring production back up and make a bunch of them. I don't know. They don't talk to me about it. So if you want one, get one. I'm going to suggest that. How much do they cost? They retail for $249.95, $250. I was able to find this one on sale at a store in Utah for $180. Combine that with the $5.5 I have in salt and maybe $8 or $9 that I have in the five gallon bucket and the lid. And for around $200, I have the capability to treat over 200,000 gallons of water. And for $200, that is a steal. So consider getting one of these. Take your time, look around for one, and when you see one, snag it up. Don't fall for these high price pitches. You know, every once in a while you see somebody who knows that they're discontinued and they're jacking the price up. Hopefully you're gonna buy, buy one for their inflated price of seven or eight or $900 or even a thousand. If you can get one for $250 for less, jump on it right now. Anyway, this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos, and be safe out there.